I'm just in like a really bad mood right now, so I'm just going to get out all my emotions, how I'm feeling. It's just, and they're not home, so it's a really good idea to just <clears throat> fucking get out all the emotions I'm feeling. So, today, my step-grandpa went to the doctors, and I was just thinking in my head, oh, it's skin cancer, or it's some kind of cancer. What? Am I, am I bad for saying that? No! Let me tell you about his diet. He eats sugar and bread. That's his whole diet. And then he goes out into the sun, if my grandma tells him to, and he works. So he's getting no nutrition and then going in the sun for hours. That is how you get skin cancer. <clears throat> no nutritional value with too much sunlight. How you don't get skin cancer is you are very healthy, very natural, and then you go in the sun to increase your health. <coughs> oh. If you're loading your body with aspartame and poisonous sugars, you can get any cancer without the sun. So it probably wasn't just the sun, it was probably all the shit he was eating. Am I afraid to say any of this? No! Because when people do stupid shit to their bodies, when a fat person gets fat, and then they complain on the internet about being fat and how they can't help it, I get pissed off, and I point it out. Because you are the reason you are fat. It is your fault. You did it to yourself. You can't say it is genetic because some people are born big, but they can become thin. I have seen before and after pictures of people who are fat and then they work out, they exercise, they devote their life to becoming healthy. It's a choice. People make a choice to be a certain way or they complain about it. Because certain other people are doing a good job, so they get jealous, and they say, I can't do it. I'm a crybaby. <coughs> I'm a little bitch crybaby. Or maybe, maybe, you could try. Maybe you could try. It took me four fucking years to gain 40 pounds, because my whole life I weighed nothing. Nothing. Hold on, I gotta pick this hilarious thumbnail for my angry, angry video I just made. Okay, there we go. That's gonna get people to watch it. Okay. What was this video, Rich? Oh, yes. My grandparents are complete drug addicts. My grandparents say, marijuana's a drug. It's illegal. But all the 15 drugs I'm taking that the pharmaceutical industry gave me, those aren't drugs. Those are okay. Those are healthy. Is that why you got cancer? Is, is the pharmaceutical industry has killed so many fucking people, and you still go there and trust those fuck, fuckheads. You want to know why they're so goddamn nice to you? It's because they get paid. They care about money. They're not being nice to you just to be nice to you. They're being nice to you because they get a nice shiny check. You emotionally, emotionally think emotionally. You don't think logically. It drives me crazy. Do you know how good you feel? I'm talking to you YouTubers. You, you YouTubers, do you know how emotionally good you feel if you go into nature and you just shout all this stuff out? You get all your feelings out that you have against other people, that you have against yourself, and you get it out. You feel so much better instead of just suppressing all this shit and being all mad and then going on YouTube and typing angry comments like, I don't like your video, I don't like your video. <coughs> Make yourself happier by getting those angry feelings out, or talking to those people that are annoying you. They could get mad, but at least you're telling them how you feel.
So anyways, the pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical industry gave him medication today, which doesn't surprise me because he's on about six and she's on about 15. And then I get laughed at by her when I'm eating a carrot and she tells me I should stop eating so many carrots because they're going to turn me orange. You need to consume about 50,000 milligrams of beta carotene to turn orange a day. You get UI, which is under milligrams. No, you get micrograms, and then it becomes UI from carrots. You need to eat about a million carrots. You gotta. So she tells me not to eat carrots when she's taking 15 drugs that she gets mad if I have one edible of a, a brownie of a pot, pot, like three times out of the year. You are a fucking drug addict. Then my older sister stands up for her. She's like, everyone over 60 takes drugs from the... I'm like, no. If you go on YouTube and you look up old people calisthenics, old people are all buff and they're on healthy diets. There are... And I'm going to say this. There are some hot 60-year-olds that are thin and have bodies of like 20-year-olds and faces that are still young. You, you, it's your choice. It is a choice to be healthy or on so many drugs because you get addicted to them. It is your choice. It is completely your choice. And people who you tell this to, they get mad because they're like, no, it's it's not my choice. It, it just happened to me. It just happened to me. Did you know you can fix thyroid problems, which make you gain weight? You can fix a thyroid problem with healthy diet. But so many people, including my grandma, say it's unfixable. It's, un it's, uh, it's unfixable. I can't fix it. I just can't. I can't exercise. My, my fingers hurt. There's a guy on YouTube. Look him up. He had polio. He couldn't walk at all. He had crunch it, crouches, or however you say that, he couldn't walk. He began stretching every day his legs that were handicapped. There's a guy at my gym that can't walk. He's in a wheelchair, and he can slightly drag himself, and he pulls down. He tries. My grandma can still walk, but her feet hurt from chemo. He has no, he has no ability to walk, and he still goes to the gym and tries to work out his legs and arms. You're making excuses. You're making excuses. When I see that, I just see excuses, 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 excuses. There's no reason to make so many goddamn excuses. You people are ridiculously retarded. Fucking stop making excuses for everything. Fucking go outside. Fucking get sunlight and fucking work out. Stop making excuses for everything. You guys are fucking ridiculous. You suck. You losers suck. I have epilepsy. My feet are clubbed. They're messed up. But you know what I do? I still go to the gym. I keep going. I've died five times. I've had epileptic seizures where I've left my body. But you know what? I become chronically depressed after those, and I keep going. I don't kill myself. I keep going. When I see all these bitching people, I can't do it. It's other people's fault. What's wrong with you fucking people? Were you just given everything in life, and now you just... <laughs> try. Just try. Fuck. That's why I can't live with these people. They're just too... Excuse! 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 You guys just make excuses all the time. And then I have to tell you this shit, and to prove me wrong... Yeah, you love proving me wrong, Grandma. You'll do the opposite. You will do that every time. That's the only way to get you to do something, is to just tell you you can't, and then you'll do it. That's the only way you won't just do it. Okay, I'm going to end it here, or I'm going to explode. So, bye. And I don't see other YouTubers using any emotion in their video like me. They're always just boring. They'll talk like, yeah, this is... Use some emotion in your video, YouTubers. Just...
I don't see any YouTube. I see PewDiePie on crack, and he's just like, PewDiePie! And I just want to bitch slap that retard across the face, because he does that only for money. But, yeah. Bye!